Boom, we are on, apparently. Uh, it's all a new setup, this, for when you're doing uh, OBS and stuff. Right, I'm just setting up the green screen. One second. Because I'm lazy and I didn't do it. Someone's in. Pop in the chat if you're in. It's all, I say, it's all a new weird thing. Trying something new. Yeah, well, yeah, I suppose so. Right. How are we looking there? How are we looking there? I'm looking at the preview, so it's a little bit behind me. Just want to see if it's properly put up. That preview must be like 30 seconds behind. Ah, there we go. Cool. How does it look? Oh, I can see it on my OBS, can't I? One sec, I'll turn my light on. Green screen will probably be a bit fuzzy. It'll probably be a bit fuzzy anyway because... Probably be a bit fuzzy anyway because of um, the fact that I've not got my two photography lights, you know, either side of me. Um, but I'm not, there's no way I'm putting them up in this heat, it's ridiculous. And also, my camera's up here, and I'm not looking into it, so it looks like I'm just looking into thin air. Um, but I'm not going to look at the camera all the time, because I can't bother. Uh, so we've got Peter in here, we've got Money Mental, we've got Export, Esports Game Master, oh, hi there. Um, yeah, that's everyone anyway. We've got uh, three or two people watching. This is really weird. This is a completely new layout on YouTube, because I don't normally do it with OBS anymore. Um, but... You know, so since I've done it today with OBS, it's a completely different layout. It's cool. And then you've got the end stream button up there. It's really good, though, because you've got the chat that side. If you haven't live streamed with OBS uh, recently, try it, because YouTube have got this awesome new setup. And you can see a little preview up here, which you can mute. Yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, how is the green screen looking? Is it all right? It looks... A doesn't look too bad from my end, actually. There might be a bit of fuzziness around the chair, because as I say, I've not got my other two lights up. Um, nice glasses. Yeah, I got my glasses on uh, Monday. These are so good. I, I've, I've been, literally, I've been falling in love with them the last couple of days. I've just, the more I've looked at them in the mirror, the more I've fallen in love with them. I'm going to see. Well, actually, I can't see now I've taken them off, but I want to see if you can see the turtle shell. So they are actually t turtle shell, not turtle shell, tortoise shell. And they're not actual tortoise shell before anyone says, oh my god, you murdered some tortoise for your eyes. I've not, they're just plastic, obviously. Um, but they're that design. Um, this is, this for the Thursdays too, or just today? No, I'm just doing this random today. I literally had the idea yesterday. I thought, you know what I'll do? I'll do an eBay listing and chill live stream with me so yeah there's ebay i'm not listing on the computer i'm listing on my phone because i've got all my photos on the phone um but if you want me to research anything on ebay while i'm doing it while you know in between i'm li while i'm listing please do so if you have any questions fire away i will check in the chat every now and then and uh, we may as well just get on with listing so if you want to list while you're watching this feel free to list as well I'm I'm probably only gonna get one or two listings done to be honest while I'm while I'm while I'm doing this. But it doesn't matter, I don't really care, I just thought I'd pop on live. Um we've got Georgie in, hi there George. Um who else have we got? Will you read the chat? I'll be in and out. You know, I might be I might be a bit slow, but I'm gonna be listing, so. I'll be watching while whilst working, sweating as it's 30, 32 degrees down there, is it? It's about twenty six up here today. It was thirty one at the peak yesterday, my god. Yesterday was so hot. If you're if you're on my Instagram, little plug will be my Instagram down below. Um, but if you're on my Instagram, you'll notice I did. I was at my friend's house and they have a little um, what do you call it? It's like a little outdoor sink. Well, it's, it's actually it's quite a big outdoor sink. And uh, my friend's mum said fill it up, and then I put my feet in it and everything, and did me and just splashed all water over me because it was boiling hot. Um, how hot is it where you are? It's 26 here, as I just said. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty decent. I, I was trying, you know, the whole British thing of not, of, of 
we we all complain, don't we, about whether oh it's twenty six, oh it's thirty, it's too hot, it's too hot. I was trying not to do that. I was trying to just to enjoy it. But my God, sometimes I, I was hot. I was hot. Um, thirty seven in it. Yeah, tomorrow's meant to be boiling. It's maybe thirty two here. So I'm not. I, I I was thinking. Peter did say before actually. Are you doing this tomorrow as well? I was thinking of doing this setup tomorrow for Thursday talks yesterday, but then I thought, you know what? I can't do it. And if it's gonna today's okay because it's not too bad. It's not too warm. But in this room, it's pretty. What's the word? Stuffy. So we you know with my computer on and my window. Believe it or not, my window, the lock's broke. So I can't open my window. And it literally broke. It must have broke a few days ago or a week or two ago. Because it was working not long ago. So it's broke now. So I can't open my window. So it's just so stuffy. And yeah, okay, I've got windows open in other, other rooms and stuff. But it doesn't come through the same. So, um, yeah, it, it's just bad. So I wouldn't... I don't think I'll do this tomorrow because I'll... Have, that light on it, it'll just be, it'll be, get too hot for me, I think. Um, that's the reason I've not got my two photography lights either side. It's just going to be too hot. Um, otherwise, I would do that because I, I just, I'm, I just, ever, I get so um, annoyed about the green screen because I know that the green screen is probably not quite right. It's probably okay, but it's not as good as it could be, and I don't like that. I like to be as professional as I can be sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes I like to be. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, oh, so what was I saying? So I'll just do it, yeah, I'll just do it normal first day talk tomorrow. Anyway, I meant to be listing. So let me go on me, me thing. I've got 7% battery on my phone. I've got my little power bank, but I don't know how long my power bank's going to show you my power bank here. Let me flip onto this. There. Oh, yeah, you actually, you can see OBS now, can't you, when I flip back? I better not flip back on, because then you'll be able to see it all the time. It would be annoying. Um, but no, I've got my little power bank. So um, anyway, who else have we got in? Weekend and next week cooler. Yeah, that's what it said. Yeah, it's getting it's getting hotter tomorrow, and then and then it's gonna go off a bit. It's meant to be thunderstorms or something as well. Uh, tomorrow night, something like that. I'm not sure. I've also got. Oh, by the way, also I've got another pair of glasses. Um, they're very similar to this, so you might see them on as well at some point. But you probably won't tell the difference to be honest because they're, they're so similar to this. Um, oh, I'll show you another thing we do actually. Let me just, uh, I'll have to go back on the OBS again just to, oh, where, where, what, what am I on now? One sec. I couldn't see where I was clicking because I had my glasses off. Right. Okay. So, we do this. We bend to that side. Oh, no, wait, am I? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Can you see that? Oh, no, you can't see that. There we go. Sorry, it's because I've got my glasses off. So, we bend to that side. Then we bend that way. We bend right back that way. And then we bend right back that way. So it's to give it more flexibility, he was saying, so then we don't break as easy. Because, of course, when I've had glasses in the past, they're very rigid, the frames. So they don't bend out that way or anything. If you bend them out that way, they'd break. But with these ones, they won't do that. So it's really, yeah, it's really, really cool. I'm just very excited. I'm not normally that excited about getting new glasses, but I've not had any in, like, four years. So that's why I'm a bit more excited about it. Um, watching while having to deal with bloody scammers... Had three in the last year. Oh my god! Touch wood. I've not. I don't think I've had any scammers in a long time. You know, I've had a few people try it on and stuff, but I've never. I've not had scammers in a long time. Um, I was saying that I have had a few in my time. I've had a few scammers. Um, oh, what was I going to say? There was someone else I was going to say. Oh, I made a bloody error, didn't I? I've got a uh, got a couple of T-shirts over there for my friend. Right, it's his birthday on. It's Sunday, I think it's 28th. And I will get to listing in a minute. I won't just ramble. I will actually do some listing on this stream. But, oh, yeah, sorry, I've got to come out of this. Actually, we'll go on eBay again. Right. So, uh, I got some. I got a couple of T-shirts. Oh, what's this? Get that out of the way. Um, so, I got a couple of T-shirts on eBay. And I only bloody order the wrong size, don't I? Nightmare customer. So I order the wrong size. I, I selected extra small. I don't even know. I literally asked my friend what the size was. He was. And uh, and then I bought them about an hour later. And um, and then for some reason I clicked extra small and not small. So now I'm like, oh God, I've got to return them. And I'm going to... And I am actually going to return them because I need to return them. I don't like returning stuff because... The only reason I don't like returns stuff is because I'm a seller myself and I just don't like returns myself. So I get annoyed. I get I think, oh, you know, I don't want to return it on them. But I'm going to return them because I have to return them to get the other size. But that's a nightmare. That. I feel I feel like such an... Not, not an idiot in the sense of... Um, 
you know, I feel I don't know what, and I don't know whether I feel like an idiot for purchasing the wrong item, but I just feel like such a what's the word? I don't feel good for having to put a return on them. You know what I mean? For my mistake, um, because I'm a seller. That's what I mean. So it's not necessarily about feeling an idiot. What's the word for it? Mm, maybe idiot, but I think there's, I think there's a different word I'm, or a different phrase I'm thinking of. But yeah. Uh, so I don't, I, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna apologise. I'm gonna be very nice on the message, and hopefully they'll do all they need to do with the return because they have to accept the return anyway. But I don't, you know, I, I, I want to be, I want them to know that it was my mistake, and I'm apologetic for it being my mistake and stuff. And yeah. I, I just don't like returning stuff. I don't like it because oh, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to return it because I, kn I know I get, I get annoyed when I get a notification about a return and it just annoys me. But it, I think it is quite a big eBay seller, so you know they, you, they're used to it and stuff. But it's, I, I hate it because it's my mistake. You know, it's my mistake, and I, and I could have avoided the aggro for them by actually getting it right myself the first time. You know, but. Anyway, it's, it's what happens, isn't it? We're all human. We all make these mistakes every now and then. And, and that's how it is. But I'll have to return them because I've got to get the, the right ones and stuff. Um, so, anyway, how's everyone's sales? I will get on and start a, a push back in the chair. Just get a nice, uh, comfortable position going. And uh, I'll do a bit of listing. Uh, but how's everyone's sales anyway? I will look in the chat in a sec. Uh, I'll say if you want to list with me, then go ahead and list with me. I did 20 photos this morning, so I was pretty happy. I got up at, I, I've been getting up at 6 quite regularly, like 6, half 6. I did my packing about, what, well, it was quarter to 7. Then I did sorting from, like, 7 till 8. Then I got 20 photos done from 8 till 9. No, actually, I went on a walk, and then I got some photos done around 9-ish. Um, so I was, like, I was doing my eBay side of things for the day, basically, or well, obviously listing as well. And then I recorded the Reselling Rebels, because it's Wednesday, I recorded that on Wednesday. I recorded uh, a philosophy video, and, uh, and then it was, well, basically lunchtime by, by the time, because the Reselling Rebels took me an hour to do. Um, so yeah, and then uh, did a little bit of walking again, and it's like, yeah, I've done, done loads today. It's like, it was, it's so good when you get up early, and you actually apply yourself. If you, you know, you can get up early and just not do anything with the time that you, you know, you've, you've got really. But if you get up early and you apply yourself, oh my god. You get so much like literally you can get all your work done by 11, 12 o'clock. You can get up at 6, get all your work done by like 11, 12. And then you think, well, you know, if I want to chill, I can chill. If I want to do some more work, I can put a bit more pressure on myself and do a bit more work. I do need to do more editing. I've got four videos to edit now, so I need, I've got I've done a couple of vlogs as well. So well, I've not I've not done them yet because I've, I've filmed them, but I've not edited them. Um, but I, you know that'll be pretty cool once they come. Uh, Shrek the third, but I'm listening to Shrek plush. Shouldn't really tell you because actually that's in the whole video of the vlog, so I've kind of spoiled it for you a bit there. But ah well. Uh, Shrek the third. Um, oh, someone give me some keywords. DreamWorks. It's DreamWorks, right? Let me. Someone give me some keywords. Oh God, no keywords. Keywords, the bane of my life. Well, it is with some items. My God, sometimes it's so hard to find keywords. Yeah, it's DreamWorks. PMS. That sounds like something. PMS. Hmm. DreamWorks. PMS. That's the brand, P Dream DreamWorks PMS. Um, right, brand new. No, actually, I put new tagged plush soft toy sorted. That'll do. It's not vintage, is it? Actually, Shrek. Oh, my God, Shrek will be vintage in a few years. Can you imagine that? That's crazy. Shrek vintage. Well, this one wouldn't be because this is Shrek the third, but the first movie will be coming up to vintage soon. Boo doo doo. Right, I'll check in the chat. I'm not. Uh, Andrew said, "Don't avoid. Don't. Uh, what's the word? Don't ignore it." Uh, fan of the new Kit Kat Chunky bars. I've never had the Kit Kat Chunky. Well, I've I've had the Kit Kat Chunky. I quite like the Kit Kat Chunkies, but I've not had the the new ones. Why right, is it a new recipe or something? Oh, at 19 in now. That's cool. If you're in, stay high in the chat. Uh, I tried to go live while listing a couple of times, and both times only done about foot. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not that bothered about it. As I said, if anyone, I uh, just come live to come live. Really, I just like it. Um, if anyone wants me to do a bit of research on the old eBay, 
if you want me to research anything, you know, whatever it may be, you might be interested in looking at the price of something that you've never looked at before, then hit me up in the chat and I'll do that as well. Um, and then, as I say, if you've got any questions, whack me in. I just come on to go live. It's a bit of fun. It's a bit of... It just breaks up the day a bit as well, doesn't it? And I can always do more listing later on. It's not like I need to uh, kill myself for it. I've got later on anyway. Um, probably go. I'll probably end up going around Wines for a bit. Oh, oh no! What's happened here? Oh, there we go. It wouldn't let me crop. Let me crop the photo. Yeah. Now I don't normally. Well, I didn't used to use the app for a while, but now I've gotten back to using the app. I actually quite like it. I've gone now. Now I've got into it. The first few times of using it again, it was terrible. I didn't like it at all. But now I, I'm getting back into it a bit more. Seems like my power bank's holding up anyway. Still got a bit more charge left in it. Condition is no condition isn't used. Why did it say condition is used? I'm not putting that in there. Condition. I'm going to put new tagged. Tagged. I am going to actually put with a little mark. Um, or some sort of thing with a stitching actually. What should I put? Some mark where to uh, one of the feet. Yeah, that'll do. I need to actually specify the condition as new. That would help. Where does it even say condition? Oh my god. I've been resigned for four years and I can't find where it says condition on the app. Oh, there we go. Item specific condition. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I shouldn't come live. You just see all the mistakes. You see all the mistakes. Uh, I'm not going to go on auction. You can get off. Go and buy it now, lads. Buy it now. What do you reckon? Twelve ninety. Who, who says twelve ninety nine? So put in the chat. Twelve ninety nine or nine ninety five. It's not a very sought after one. Twelve ninety nine, nine ninety five. Put it in the chat. I'm getting everyone to do my work for me now. Oh God. <laughs> slow sales are slow, but always uh, always off. Uh, July and August for me. Richard Hale says, yeah. I mean, July, I've had some brilliant days, you know, with July. Oh, I flipped back onto that again. I don't know why I'm in my live control room. Uh, yeah, July, I've had a, I've had a, one or two Julys that have been really good, actually. But this year and last year, I don't think were very good. Um, yeah, July and August can be a bit... Yeah, not brilliant. I mean, I'd say I've had one or two that have been okay, but it's not been good this year. May, May was, I think May was okay for me. June wasn't good, July has not been good, um, and then maybe a couple of months, maybe Feb, March were okay, but for the most part, I'd say it's a, I'd say it's a 50-50 split down the middle this year. A few months have been good, a few months have been bad, you know, but normally it's more good, there's more good months than bad, so it, it you know, it makes me think, but, you know, everyone always says about this Brexit and about all the rest of it and all this uncertainty in the economy and then weather and stuff and all the things we wheel off about why it could be um you know that things are maybe slow or maybe maybe not that slow um what uh right where are we now did film footage of rain and a thunderstorm last night not sure what you can see oh yeah but what there was rain around here as well actually peter uh, let me have a look back on for chat. There's nothing else in here, is there? Oh, it's okay. There's no one in the chat anyway, so I can I can chill for a minute until someone else puts something in the chat. I think I'm gonna go for twelve ninety nine because I always like going the high figure. Twelve ninety nine, and then I put three forty nine postage. Actually, I don't even know whether that's enough to cover it anymore. Probably, yeah. It probably is actually just about in it. Might need to start upping my uh, delivery charges. Cause po well, postage went up in April, didn't it? Probably it's still all right though, even at three forty nine. Fix listing issues. But it's still all right at three forty nine. I might have to put it up to what three sixty nine or something in a few months time. Maybe ne maybe before next April, before the postage goes up. I mean, basically, what I like to do is put 
Three forty nine because then that covers me eBay postage fee thing that you get ten percent. You know it covers my postage and then you might get an extra ten pence or something, maybe twenty pence for your packaging. So uh, you know that's still okay, but I might next April when the post price goes up, I might need to start charging like three fifty nine, three sixty nine for Royal Mail second class. I'm thinking about it. I have been thinking about it for a while because I thought, oh, I better keep in line with that. Before you know it, the prices go up, and you're thinking, bloody hell, I'm not, I'm not charging enough or whatever for your postage. If you don't, you know, if you don't keep up with it, so you got to keep up with it. Anyway, that looks like there's basically one on. Cool. Oh, I just closed down the congratulations page. I should have showed it you. Oh well. Um, yeah. So that's that one. Now, what I also do is I keep a running tally of how much I've listed in a day. So I'll show you on my notes now. Uh, I just put uh, now I put the price excluding postage. So if I just uh, flip back onto this and then I can show you properly. You might actually you might not be able to see that. Actually, there you go. Thirteen pound in my notes there. So I basically do a running tally. Uh, oh, it's a little bit down now. Isn't it? Let's get that down. So I basically do like a running tally, and then at the end of the day, I put it on my little whiteboard up there, and then. Let's say I've done 10 listings and then, you know, I've to t told them up in like 150, 200, 300 quid, whatever it may be, well, it depends on value. Um, I put them on my whiteboard and I put 10 listings, X value. And then, and that helps motivate me, to be honest. I've been doing that quite a lot. It's been quite good. Um, I think the combination of doing the value, the value, going off the screen here, aren't I? Value with uh you know the number of listings that you've done it's quite good that i quite like it and uh, it seems to motivate me and then what i do is i do that all week so I do mon well not all week monday to friday and then more recently i've been trying to have the saturdays and sundays off and it, it, it's working pretty well but um i still feel i, I almost feel as if i should be working sunday saturdays and sundays because i did that for so long Things to myself, oh, I need to work, I need to work, I need to work, and I need to get out of that habit of thinking I need to work. I mean, I do still do a bit of YouTube work and stuff, and a bit of bits and bobs of other stuff, but uh, I even sometimes do a bit of photography on a Saturday or a Sunday, but yeah, I just, I, I, I just don't, I don't need to work all the time. I shouldn't, I shouldn't think to myself, I need to work all the time. I mean, it's like today, I've done three videos, I've done, including this live stream. I've done me photography. I've done, you know, got, done, not done a good good amount of photography. I've done me packing. I've done me labeling all the rest of it that's affiliated with that. And I've done plenty of work. I don't need to then work Saturdays and Sundays and all the rest of it. So long as I'm making sure that I'm trying to get into slightly higher value items, so and I can get an average better average sale price. And so long as you know I'm being more efficient with how I'm working and stuff. And then it's fine, you know. I don't need to. I don't need to work then. But still, there's something in me that's. Oh, I wanna. I wanna work more. I wanna work more. Oh, got a few more people uh, jumping in the chat now. Chill out in summer if you feel like it. Slack off. Yeah, I mean, but I, I don't know. I kind of. Um, I don't want to slack off too much because I, I did slack off quite a lot last year. To be honest, the end of last year, I wasn't motivated. I didn't do as much. I. I don't even know whether what what it was like with my YouTube. I can't remember, but I don't. I think I did okay with my YouTube in terms of actually doing videos I wanted to do and stuff. But I don't think I really put as much effort in as I should have been with doing that. T towards the early part, mid part of this year, I've been a bit more motivated, but still not. You know, I, I, I want to. I remember about a year or two ago where I was doing proper. You know, doing loads of work, and I was getting, um, you know, I was, I was listing loads. I was just doing loads, and yeah, okay, the YouTube took a back seat a little bit when I was doing that sort of time, when it was that sort of time. But it was far better to do that than uh, do loads of YouTube, let's say, and and let's say not work as or not be as motivated towards my my reselling because obviously i was spending more time on other things that didn't that one didn't and still don't necessarily get me the money now things like this are pretty good because i can actually you know okay yeah i might only get two or three listings done or whatever while i'm doing this but at least i'm 
I can say, oh, well, I'm doing a bit of work while I'm doing this, you know, so it's not it's not as bad. Oh, I got some, oh, no, I won't tell you because I'm going to tell you all the stuff about my whole video and before you're seeing it, so I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, I got, I got some bits from, I went, basically I went to a local town yesterday, Mac, well, it's quite local, it's about 30, 35 minutes away, something like that, and uh, I went there, I got a few bits, it wasn't as good as it normally is, um, well, I say normally, it wasn't as good as it was a couple of years ago, like I said in the charity shop, our oh, charity shops are dead video, um, you know, how I was elaborating it as it's not, not as good as a few years ago, and I saw that yesterday in Mac, it was just not as good. Uh, I used to be able to get so many, I used to be able to get about 15 items, uh, maybe close to 20 items on a really good day in Mac, and yesterday I got four items, um, and one of them was maybe a 25, 30 quid item that I got for two quid, one was a maybe a 27 to 30 quid item that I got for five quid, one was the Shrek blush that I just listed, which was, you know, one pound fifty. I might get about thirteen quid for that. And then one, what was the other one? Oh, it was a hat that I, I might get fifteen quid for. So it's not brilliant. I mean, I did pair it with on the way back. I went to another town that is actually on the way back uh, called Nutsford, and I got a couple of items from there. So that wasn't too bad, but still, it's you know, it's not it's not as good. I mean, it doesn't warrant work. It doesn't. <sighs> It's arguable whether it warrants driving 30 minutes or so, but I don't think it does really for that. So it's like, mm, I, you know, the time and stuff, it's just not worth it. I mean, think about how much you could get from auction or from a car boot or anything con uh, compared to that. It's just getting so dire. And that was me looking for toys and games. That wasn't me looking for antiques. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't looking for, you know specialist items or anything i was just i was just being a generalist looking for general items and i couldn't see that many i really couldn't i could see those four items in but there's about eight charity shops maybe nine charity shops in mac something like that so you know i mean four items from nine shops it's not as good as it, it i have to say it's not as good as it used to be so anyway i quickly look in the chat and then i'll do another listing i will do another listing don't worry um, in fact, it's being pushed back for six weeks now. The girls are off school. Why? What's being pushed back? Oh my god, everyone's jumping in. Tap Peddler. Hi, ads and chat. On the sunbag from Bulgaria. Oh, nice. Um, what's being pushed back? Oh, I'm, I'm so far down the chat. Oh, no, not too bad, actually. Financial necessity. Only five more years of it to go. What do you mean, five more years? How do you mean, five more years? Do you mean in five years you won't have the need for financial necessity? I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> elaborate. Elaborate, Andrew. Business must come first. YouTube has to be pushed back of the queue this week for me. Yeah, it does. It does, yeah. And I don't do it. I don't do it enough. And that's where my folly is. And it, I'm not going to make the excuse of I don't have time to do YouTube and reselling. I do. I mean, like, as, as, you've, as I've just mentioned, today I've got my... 20 photos done i've done my videos i could potentially do 20 listings today i could do the same tomorrow could do the same day after if i applied myself it's not that i've not got time of the day i'm not going to make that that excuse um but saying that if i did push the youtube back a bit i could get more time the time that i would be using for youtube i could get more than the 20 listings on and stuff and therefore i'd, I'd make more in that respect so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's something that has been running through my mind for, for months and months on end, really, of, you know, whether I should um, do, do a few less videos. Because I can do Thursday Talks and the Reselling Rebels, and, and that that's two videos a week then. And, you know, that's that can be me sorted, and that's not a lot of time to do, really. Because the Reselling Rebels I can record in one session for, like, an hour. And then Thursday Talks, I can record in one session live for an hour. So there's always that. I and mean, then I could always come live and stuff if I, if I wanted to. But then I think to myself, yeah, but there's not a lot of my audience that like or, or want to watch the podcast, let's say. They want to watch the vlogs. So then I feel obliged to do a vlog for those people who want to, do, want to see a vlog. So then I do a vlog. And then let's say I go to a car boot. I can't miss out the opportunity of doing vlogging around the car boot, can I? 
because that'll get me a good few views because people like to see vlogs on the channel of that nature. So then I'm doing the car boot, I'm doing a vlog, then I'm doing a whole video when I get back, then I'm having to edit the whole video before, or, well, sort a few items out and then edit the whole video. So then it gets more and more, you see. But um, it's only, I only do it to myself. I'm not, I'm not blaming anyone for it. I only make that work for myself because I love it, you know, but I would be better, it would be way better to uh, just for a few weeks maybe or a couple of, maybe just trial it for a couple of months, put YouTube on the back burner a bit and then just really get stuck into the resign and see what I can make of it compared to how I am now doing a lot more YouTube, but yeah, it's interesting. Uh, do, 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 do. Like reading a book from back to front. <laughs> well, yeah, I always read the ones at the bottom and then scroll up. That's so cool. Whoa, Gary had his biggest sale profit earlier, £1,000. Holy crap, that's crazy. That's mental. Uh, have 800 to 1,000 by Q4, then ramp up 16 hours a day. My God, you're doing 16 hours a day? My God, oh, you will be doing 60 now, that's crazy. Although, to be honest, when I was on um, low listings, I felt like that. I felt, you know, I, I suppose you feel a bit like you need to get more listings on and stuff to get it pushed up and, and get some more sales or whatever. I kind of felt like that when I was uh, in 2016, start of 2016, mid-2016, I was trying to get on 20 listings a day and really pushing my inventory, and I was, I was maybe on about 300 by the start of the year, and then he ended the year on God knows how many, close to a 1,000 or something. So it, it, sometimes you feel like that. You feel like you need to put the work in and get it, get it up, get it up. I found that um, it was very exciting for me, that period of, of growing it. But also it was hard work, you know. And, and I think a lot of re new resellers who come in don't understand how hard... I mean, some of them do. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not generalising everyone here. Some of them do. But a lot of them don't understand that you do actually need to put quite a bit of work into this if you're going to get it off the ground, if you're going to uh, really, you know, get things going, essentially. Um, so, yeah, anyway, get on and do a bit of listening, and then I shall look up the chat again. I've got a load of these ponchos, actually, to list. I'm going to do them in batches. I'll uh, see if I can show you here, actually. Let me pop this up. I'm doing them in little batches, little bundles, because I've done them singularly before. There's ponchos there. Uh, I've done them, si not ponchos as in like disposable rain ponchos. They're like kids' towel-y, tow towelette type ponchos, I suppose they're called. Um, but I did them singularly for a while, and then I thought to myself, you know what? They're taking a while to go. I'm going to do them in some little job lots and see what I can do. I might do, I'm not sure. I'm tempted to do them on auction, because they don't owe me anything anyway. I basically got a. Um, a big job lot off uh, my fr my dad's friend and he just gave me he literally gave me my dad's back seat was full and then my dad's boot was full of figures sealed figures sealed ponchos I've been and he didn't want a penny for them and I, I did I did explain this in a sales update actually but it was ages ago um, and I offered him some money for them and he wouldn't take the money and, and so I got them all for free so it doesn't matter really wh whether I do them on auction or whether I do them buy it now but I'd like to get some money in because yeah sales have been slow recently so I wanna I am doing a few more auctions actually I've got quite a few auctions uh, lined up uh, well I've got I say quite a few I've probably got about 10 but you know it, for, for some of the value of them I'm hoping some of the value of them goes up goes up a little bit got some inks and stuff on so it might give me something it might give me a couple of days of, of fairly decent sales or fairly steady sales and then it might go back down again you know what i got promoted running i had a sale running and that didn't really help things i had promote i've got promoted running now that's not helped much i did a good i did good on monday i did 166 quid on monday so i was pretty pleased with that but other days have been absolute crap. I, I absolutely got, yesterday was what sit fifty sixty, which isn't the best, you know, to be honest. Um, but there's been days way less than that as well. They've been really like it's been really poor some days. Um, but yeah, what was it? What was I saying anyway? Then so uh, I got promoted running, and I did the send offers to watchers, but I did it in bulk. I sent loads of offers to watchers in in bulk. Uh, Indie chick put a. Um, 
a how-to thing on her Instagram stories. So I did loads of offers to watchers, and still, I, and I got a couple of sales. Actually, I did get about two or three, maybe four sales or something from that, but not a lot, you know, considering I, I put tons of offers out there to people. So, um, yeah, you know, it's okay, but I would have liked to get maybe about 10 sales off that. Um, so, yeah, it's weird. I'm doing, I'm literally doing everything I can. I've got multi-buy running as well. I've had that running for quite a while. Um, and I've not done any sending things to auction or reducing of stuff yet. I need, I need to do that, but I'm hesitant because if I've got promoted running, you know, I don't want to then do a sale or do reductions because I've got to account for me promoted and then I've got to account for the fact, you know, things are on for 10% less or whatever it would be. So, you know, mm, you know, I don't want to particularly do that as well. But, yeah, I mean, i just got to keep... Uh, so, basically, now I'm in the, in the thing of, well, I've just got to keep listing and, and that's that, really. Um, anyway, I keep putting OBS up. I need to stop doing that. I've got this little tin here. Huntley and Palmer's John O'Groat shortbread. I photographed it. I don't even know whether it's worth a tenner. Probably won't even be worth a tenner. Um, but it was just in one of the boxes, and I thought, I'll grab it. Uh, what was it? Huntley and Palmer. Oh, is it Huntley Palmer's, not Huntley and Palmer? Palmer's. Wait, John O'Groat, was it? Biscuit tin. A lot of the tins don't go for good money. Yeah, I mean, there are ones that go for good money, but mm, possibly a tenner, but it's looking close. Oh, great. One's gone 99p on auction. Bloody hell. There's some on for a tenner, but I don't know whether they're getting a tenner for it. Mm, unlikely, I would say. Anyway, I photographed it. My mum actually has this tin. Don't you hate having to swizzle the photos around on the app? That's the one thing, you know. On computer, it's not so bad, but on the app, it's like, mm. Oh, actually, I don't need to swizzle these two around. I will crop them, though, because they're a bit... They're not brilliant. I like cropping... Does anyone else really like cropping photos on... Uh, not necessarily on the app, but just on eBay in general. Like, just getting them nice, you know what I mean? I don't do it with everyone. I'm not trying to make out that I'm uh, I'm really good with that. Sometimes I don't crop them very well, but I do. Sometimes I do relish just getting getting them really nice, you know, getting them nice and square and stuff. Uh, it's funny. John O'Groat shortbread shop category. Oh, does anyone else do that? I did this a while ago. I set up my shop categories. Um, so I've got loads of different categories now. Where is it? Tins, tins, tins. Vintage tins, there we are. So I've got a lot of shop categories. So basically, uh, all my shop is a bit more organised now. And then people can actually browse. You know when, the, when you go on a shop on eBay, and then maybe they've not got shop categories, and then it's all in other? Um, that was like what mine was for so long. And then I started doing shop categories, and uh, I don't know whether it helps, but I would imagine it's just nicer, I think. If someone comes onto your store and it's just all in other, and then, you know, we can scroll down and stuff, but there's no logic to it or anything, is there? No layout. So, um, I yeah, so I've now got a nice little layout, and I, I, think, it, I think it's just that little bit of extra care that, that it might, might do something. It might stimulate some more sales. I'm not sure. It might help with people browsing and therefore they'll be able to find items a bit bit easier um but yeah so i, I don't know but i i'm I'm, do, I'm doing it anyway and i'm keeping i'm trying to keep up with it the best i can i've still got a few actually i need to go into my um on on my ebay on my computer because i've got a few that i've forgot to put in the categories uh, you know when i've been listing on my phone so i need to uh reorganize them into categories but it's not that many but I think it, I think it's just a little bit of care, and it and it might make the difference with sales and stuff. So yeah, I, I don't know. It might do, might make a difference. But even if not, I enjoyed doing it because I was so annoyed that my store was just basically all in other, um, and and that was about it. So it just yeah, I suppose it just annoyed me because it, it just felt unorganized basically. Let me have a look here. K 
can you see on the app now you know there used to be that time where um you could only see 600 items couldn't you but then now um i think you're not limited by that anymore is that why I, i'm not 100 percent sure but i know people were saying that anyway quick look at the chat the old chat where are we um oh god i'm i'm, I'm too far down one sec I think we need to have a, a little five minutes looking through the chat because I'm, I'm way far down. How long have we been going now? Does it say? Well, it says on the OBS anyway, so I'm going to check on the OBS. 41 minutes. I didn't come live, though, for the first five minutes, so we're probably on about... Just put that up a bit. We're probably on about 36 minutes, 37 minutes. Um, I do £3.50 for small parcel, yeah. Two quid, for, two quid for large letter. Wow, that's quite a lot. I don't do many large letters though, so I don't really. Do, it's just basically my my basically postage is just three pound forty nine, three pound forty nine, three pound. The only uh, change I do, well, obviously Hermes with I do four forty nine, and then really I should do six ninety nine, shouldn't I? But I do six forty nine. I should I need to change that to six ninety nine because I've been it's it is six forty nine isn't it on, on Hermes, but I'm not accounting for me. No, actually, I need to do like 749 for Herms, don't I? Because I'm losing out there. I mean, I don't send tons 649 with Hermes, but, you know, occasionally I do. You know, there's a few items a month I do. So, yeah, I'm singing myself. I'm shooting myself in the foot with that one, so I need to keep up. I'm very good with uh, Royal Mail, making sure that I've, I've got a leeway, but with Herms. 399 is Herms, like, the. Um, What's that one? You know, the 1 to 2kg. That's 3.99, right? Because I've got 4.49 for that. So it might be just for 6.49 I need to change. I need to update. Maybe start putting 7.49. But I, you know what I get worried about as well? Is, are people going to actually... Whoa, what is that? There's a big dip in that graph then. It's gone on. Oh, have I... Have I did I... Um, oh, about 108. I must have... Uh, I don't know. Must have gone off air at something at 108. Anyway, so, uh, what was I saying? So, yeah, I always get a bit nervous that people, if I up my postage too much, people aren't going to bloody buy, you know, because they're not buying that much at the moment anyway. So I'm like, oh, God. Um, but anyway, I shall have a look. Uh, oh, we're, we're at the top of the chat here. So I'm looking pretty good. Yes, Andrew, they aren't any good recently. Did get a couple of Polaroids, £4 each. I I did a lot. I've got some cameras in the lockup actually. I did I did used to do cameras a bit more, but um, I never really knew what I was doing, <laughs> to be honest with them. Um, yeah, hopefully you don't get your biggest return ever. Get no, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. Should be alright. Generally, that more high priced items are. Uh, I I like. I've never. It's weird. Touch wood. If I sell something for between like fifty and a hundred quid. I don't think I've, re I've rarely had a problem with it. If I sell something at 10, 20 quid, or even, well, I mean, when I was doing less than 10 pound items, I would, you know, I would maybe get a five pound return or whatever. But between that 10 and 20 pound, I get more returns, you know, it's more consistent. Um, I had someone the other day who said, I want, uh, you know, we had to cancel, they wanted to cancel the order before I even shipped it out and all the rest of it. I was like, oh, great, you know. Don't you take it when that happens and you're like, oh, but anyway. Um, considering that my sales were slow and then they'd cancelled it, but that's what happens. That's the game, innit? Um, all profit, sold an item on Sunday, same auction lot. Air Energy Professional Plus, wow. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it sounds like the type of item that would be valuable, that. Um Ads, you need to source high... Yeah, I know. I need to do that, definitely. Um, sold 496 on nine items. My God. So that's what? 50, yeah, that's about, what, 50 quid? Maybe 60 quid? Yeah, I do. I do need to source higher price items. Um, and with and it's a good time to do so at the moment because at that auction house that I normally go to, that's basically on the rocks at the moment i don't know what's happening with it i don't know whether it's going to continue or whether it's not so it's a perfect time now for kind of um moving on and uh, essentially finding somewhere where i can get in there 
another auction house and I can start getting the higher end items, maybe from the cabinets, whatever, and do that sort of thing and then and then get some turnover going that way and then be able to buy more that way. But I always get tempted by the boxes of stuff. I always get tempted. And yeah, okay, okay, I could still buy some other boxes and stuff. You know, pick out some better items from or whatever. Um, maybe do the rest of car boots or something, I'm not sure. But I could still do the boxes of stuff and then get the others. But the problem is, I end up... What happens then if I do that is I end up bloody kidding myself and spending most of my money on the boxes anyway. So... I need to think like cabinets, cabinets, cabinets. Get the stuff in the cabinets. Or get the get the small job lots in the cabinets because the single items sometimes they go too high anyway. But I can get little job lots from the cabinets. I'd be I'd be in there, you know, and then get me higher value items. And I'm trying when I'm sourcing at charity shops to look for higher value. Yesterday uh, I didn't find anything really high value, but I did try and source items between twenty and thirty pounds. So I'm not gonna go for that. £10, £15 kind of thing. I got an I one or two items of, of that range, but I was trying my best to go for the 25 30 quid kind of items. And uh, and that's what I am. I'm trying to do that more in charity shops. But also because it's so slim pickings in charity shops, it's like I, I just want to grab something at the end of the day. Sometimes I go around and I'm like, mm, I just want to pick something up. You know, I don't want to come away just completely empty-handed. And therefore I end up picking up a 10 12 quid item. But it's only the same as when I was doing... I had this trouble when I was... Because I, um, I kept saying... I was talking to David McGregor, actually, ages ago, when I was when I was transitioning from selling three or four pound Lego minifigures and stuff, uh, as well as other value items. But I was selling those, and I was trying to get to uh, all my inventory to be ten pound or over, right? And it took me the longest time to break the habit of buying or picking up the lower than £10 items. So all it is, it's the same process now. I'm starting to identify, I've been starting to identify for a few months. I've not been acting upon it as quickly as I should, obviously. Um, but I've started to identify that, and now I'm really starting to move into it a bit more. I'm starting to pick up a bit more, but I'm still drawn back, you know, I'm still drawn back to them 10 pounds. And it's so easily done as well. When you go to the auction and there's God knows how many boxes there and you think, oh, that I, I could fill the lock up right up with all that stock and, you know, plenty of 10 pound items in there, plenty of 15 quid items in there. Just whack them on. You know, I get so tempted. I get Because my personality, it is generally probably because of my personality. I'm more of a quantity guy than a quality guy. You know, it's just the way I'm. In everything I do, you look at the videos on this channel. I've got 700 odd videos because I'm a quantity guy. I like I like doing more rather. I like doing more less quality <laughs> than less at more quality. So a part of it is my personality, um, but it's not to say that that would impede me directly because. At the end of the day, I can still move into that. I can still um, challenge my kind of ethos, challenge my mentality, and, and move forward with that, like I did from the three pound, four pound items to the over ten pound items. And even from the last couple of months, I would say I've started to leave as much as I can at charity shops, not necessarily auctions, but as much as I can at charity shops. I try to leave the ten pound items. And get 15, 20, 25, 30 and, and up from there really. And it's the same at the car boots as well. But I tend to find at the car boots, oh, I've got a good little job lot. I could do a good little job lot, you know. Um, it's like them bottles, for example, in the car boot hall the other day. Nice little job lot of bottles, probably like 15 bottles. Then there was that sign in there that was like a 30, 40 pound sign. And then... You know, whatever else was in there, jigsaw puzzle, but it was a 25, 30 quid jigsaw puzzle. So I was like, oh, that's 10 quid that. I've got the two good value items in there, but then I end up getting landed with the bottles, and I don't mind dealing with them or anything. I said on the video I don't mind dealing with them, but it's then getting back into that habit of going down those lower value items again. So, yeah, it's, so even so, I've got to, maybe I could do, maybe I could do bundle stuff, maybe I could bundle stuff together. I don't really think it would work that well. I mean, it might work okay with the bottles, but certain other things, maybe I need to bundle where I can. I do do that often, but I don't do it 
maybe as often as I should. So, yeah, it's just it's just about at the moment. It's about finding another bloody auction house. That's what it is. And there's one that I'm looking at actually at the moment that might be a potential one. But there's one. Um, there's a, there's a few in there's a few in Cheshire, but a couple of them. I think are more geared towards collectors. One of them um, is very, very low quality stuff, so you won't find much uh, of decent value there. But then there is one that might be my saviour, and, and it isn't a collect collector's auction house, but it isn't really, really low quality. So it might be my saviour, this one auction house. Um, also, what I could do as well, is uh, I've not contacted my man in, you know, I used to have that man, man in a van who was called Adam as well, like me. Um, I have not contacted him in ages and he was pretty decent um, from, you know, for getting the stuff and everything. It, it made it, it was a big help for me. Um, and I've not contacted him in ages and uh, yeah, I could always get him to maybe drive a bit further afield so that then I could maybe bid at an auction house a little bit further afield and do it that way. Um, but if I'm doing that, then he's probably going to be charging me like... Well, I mean, it depends how far it is, but um, if it's fairly far, he might be charging me 80 quid or something, 80 to 100 quid or something for a trip. And that's a lot of money. Cause, I mean, I'd have to be insured that I was getting a lot of stock. You know, I'm talking if that's maybe one county over or something. He's got, you know, he might be going... 45 minutes away or something or maybe a bit longer um i don't know i'm just guessing at what he would charge me based on what he's charged me in the past for shorter journeys but um yeah i don't know it, it, that might be an option but i'd have to be insured that i was going to get a lot of stuff because i can't i'm not going to pay out 80 to 100 quid on you know obviously transport there um and, and not and obviously getting it picked up and and not get a lot of stuff i can't do it because there'd be no profit would there so yeah that's something and then obviously i'm trying i am trying to look on ebay as well for certain things but trying to do a bit of sniping on ebay but that's not brilliant um oh what's that ads come wignets or i will right uh andrew i will copy that oh well, i've copied all of it but that's okay i'm gonna copy that um yeah so um Oh, someone said, Tea Cake says, went around 70 C shops yesterday, came away empty-handed. I know, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, that video, I was, I was a little bit nervous about putting that video out because I was quite, um, I wasn't aggressive on it, um, you know, the charity shop, the charity shop, our charity shop's dead video. I wasn't aggressive on it, but I certainly was making my point known that, look charity shops are getting pretty bad and i thought that quite a lot of people would actually disagree with me and say well no we're not but you know all the rest of it and i was thinking that i'd get quite a lot of thumbs down on it and trolls and all the rest of it um but actually it's weird it was it was the most surprising overwhelming positive response and everyone was incredibly positive about it everyone was saying well, I mean, positive in the sense that they were agreeing with me about charity shops being dead. So I suppose it's not very positive. But, I mean, everyone was kind of really... Um, they were, they, there were so long comments on the video, and I was reading through them, and I keep getting comments on it, actually. Um, and, and everyone was really saying their pieces and getting involved, and it was brilliant. You know, it was brilliant to see everyone getting involved and, and, and seeing what they think about... Uh, about the kind of state of charity shops for resellers so but i was a little bit nervous because i thought mm, maybe people won't like that video because it was i don't think it was necessarily clickbaity but the title was a little bit out there wasn't it our charity shop's dead and stuff but i had to do that to you know ha all hands up you know i had to do that title because you know you've got to get views somehow aren't you you can't you know and it wasn't necessarily directly clickbait but it was getting there it was it was getting there definitely um Anyway, anyone done house clearance type sourcing? No, I haven't uh, done house clearance. I've, I've picked up a few bits and bobs from the house clearance guys at, um, uh, you know, the car boots. I've done that a little bit, but other than that, I've, I've not done, I've not actually said to a house clearance guy, oh yeah, look, I'm, I'm looking for a load of stock, or I'm, I'm you know, I'm a buyer, I'm a reseller, uh, you know, when you do a clearance, could you let me know, all the rest of it, and then I'll, Basically, you've got, I think, really with that type of deal, you've got to take pretty much everything off the hands, or if not everything, then pretty much everything. Otherwise, they're just going to be, like, getting a bit annoyed with you because you're picking out, like, the best bits. Um, 
I think that they'd want to just get it all, well, maybe not all of it, but a lot of it offloaded to you, so that's something to consider. I've actually thought about, um, I've been friends, oh, I say friends, I mean, I've just, I've, I've had occasional chats to her. I've been, so I've been semi-friends with this charity shop manager for a while, and, uh, I did actually say to her one time that I do eBay and stuff, and uh, if you get anything and all the rest of it, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind taking it off your hands and stuff. And she was a little bit kind of, I don't know, un I suppose unwilling is the word to to do it, maybe not, not completely willing around it. But then I've seen more recent, this was like a year ago, and we've chatted more since then and stuff, and, and just generally chatting to each other about things, uh, just life and stuff. Um, so I got to know her a bit more. But, um, yeah, but there's other people who come in uh, to that chat shop who are dealers, who I know are dealers, and they seem to be, they seem to be, have, I swear there's some sort of arrangement there with her. So I'm thinking I might just step up, put myself out there, and say, look, you know, if you've got stock that you need taking off your hands, I'm more than happy to, to buy it, you know, I, I look, and then I'll just give her a general idea of what I'm looking for, um, and then maybe just give her a bulk price for a certain bit, bit of stuff. But I don't know whether she'll do it or not. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I've had arrangements with charity shop managers in the past. And I had a really good... The, the charity shop manager I'm talking about, she took over from another charity shop manager in the same charity shop. And my God, his name was Andy. And he was so awesome. And uh, he used to let me go upstairs into the back. And he'd just be like, yeah, just go, like every, for about four or five weeks, actually, on a Saturday, I'd go in and just go upstairs, and there'd be piles of stuff everywhere upstairs in the charity shop, and I'd just root through it, and uh, just come down with all the stuff I wanted, and then he'd just give me a bulk price, and it was so good, but then I think he got ill or something, or there was something wrong with him anyway, he had some sort of illness, and uh, I, I never, I literally came in one day, and I, I never see, I never saw him again. And then, I've not seen him since, you know, for a year or so, probably over a year. And then, obviously, this new manager's been in since then. So, yeah, but I had a great thing going with Andy. It was brilliant, you know. It's like, yeah, go upstairs, mate, you know. All this. He was such a, uh, he's such an awesome guy as well. Um, and uh, he's just like, yeah, go upstairs, you know, help yourself, look, have a route through, you know. And he always gave me, like, awesome prices. You know, it was like one, two, three pound for items. Maybe if it's something special, like a fiver. But we're talking items one or two pound that you can get 20 quid for, 25 quid for, you know. And and if it was a fiver, most likely it was going to be a 30 pound plus item. And it's like, oh, you know, that was so cool. Um, actually, if you remember ages ago, if you've been on my channel for a while, I was what I um I basically did uh, a ladies dress type haul. It's actually if you type in my channel ladies uh, ladies clothing haul, probably come up because it's the only one I've ever done basically, and uh, that's where I got those from. Uh, from upstairs in the back, I decided to there was a load of clothes up there one day, and I decided to have a punt on some clothes. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I, I I should do one more listing before I go really, and then get it up to three. Um, Anyway, I'll quickly look that a look up the chat. Um, yeah, it's Far East. I seem to go mad for yeah, Far East. Yeah, I think I've sold a couple of cameras to Far East as well. Um, I thought you would have had your own van by now, Ad. My granddad's got a van. I had the opportunity to basically go. Wasn't like half and half on the van with him, but basically contribute a bit of money to the van and then have it with him but the problem is because i obviously drive an automatic and i have my lollipop thing my lollipop device which most of you will know if you're in the chat now if you're watching back and you're new to the channel you might not know but i have cerebral palsy in my left hand and my left leg so i have a little like lollipop device with my indicators on and i can i can do the indicators and the horn and the lights and everything just by my thumb so i can drive with my entirety of my right side of my body and because i've got hemiplegic spastic cerebral palsy which means the most of my right, my left side is affected um it means that that means it, it was well, brilliant because i don't need to use a clutch or anything like that or any anything you would in a manual but because of that i wouldn't drive it anyway would i so because he was getting a manual so or he has got a manual van but still, um, I basically, I go to the auctions with him in his van and we pick the stuff up. So I kind of have got a van. I've got access to a van now. Um, so, I mean, potentially I could even go with my granddad to places to, to 
go go uh, somewhere. But it's also I've not got full access to the van because another guy uses it with him, and we've got to make arrangements, you know, in terms of whether that other guy wants it. But to be honest, for the most part, if I plan it in, you know, in a couple of you know a couple of weeks in advance, I'm all right. I'll get the van. So yeah, I mean, it's not so bad. Um, so I've always got that as an opportunity. Um, and it's quite good having it's quite good having my granddad having a van, um, and but you know if I got a van the problem is with it, with it being an automatic I'd have to have I'd have to have it as an automatic so then that's an added cost I'd have to get my device fitted to it which is then an added cost I I think that do you not get higher what is it higher road tax or something there's a, there's a higher tax isn't there one of the taxes is higher with an automatic. Um, so I'd have to pay higher on that, um, and all the rest of it. And it's like, mm, at this point in my life, I don't need it. Would I want a van at some point in my, my life? Probably. I, I, I would be sad if, if some point I didn't have a van, but I wouldn't want a big van. My granddad's got a big van. He's got like, um, is it a Sprinter? I think it's a Sprinter. Or is it, a, no, is it a Sprinter? What, who do, who do the Sprinter vans? Is it Mercedes or is it like Ford or something? Because he's got a Mercedes anyway. Um, but it's a big, it's a big yellow one. It's a big, it's an old DHL one or something, DHL courier one. And uh, but I wouldn't like one like I'm not bothered about that. I just like one of them postman pat vans, you know, like the little postman vans, the the Royal Mail vans. I'd love them. I, I, that'd be pretty cool for me. I'd like that. I wouldn't want any bigger because it gets hassle like parking it and manoeuvring it and everything. And I'm not good. I'll be the first to admit, I'm not good at bloody manoeuvres. I'm not good at reversing round corners and all the blooming I'm all right with uh parallel park and uh three point turn and stuff but when it comes to reversing them big big bloody vans around the corners no way you're getting me doing that so um yeah I you know I, I wouldn't like a van for that respect but I, I would be all right with one of them little postman pat ones you know so yeah I'd quite like that but it, at some point maybe yeah Mercedes Splinter yeah so it must be a Splinter yeah but he always wanted a Splinter he wanted a Splinter for years so um, I think he's pretty glad he, he got it, um, and he got it pretty cheap. I think he got it off eBay. Pretty sure he got it off eBay. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm pretty. Sh- I, I think he got it off eBay, and it was pretty cheap from what what I uh, heard. Anyway, do do do. Oh, I was gonna do another listing. Anyway, I think I'll get off in a sec. Uh, I might just finish off another listing. I, I knew I wouldn't get much listing done, so I'm not bothered about the fact that I didn't get much listing done, but. Um, may as well do one more we'll just finish it off we'll make it an hour and a half uh, we'll make it an hour and a quarter or something this live stream finish off a bit right, let's get something good on get something good on what have we got on here well, I've got some monster high a monster high bundle to put on I'll leave that I'm not going to do the Levi's because they're going to take me a while Gonna do. Gonna do this robot music box. I don't know whether you can see that. Let, let me let me show you what I'm doing. It's like a little robot music box thing. Apparently, it goes for about twenty eight quid. So I was fairly happy with that. Paid a five in a charity shop yesterday. Um, oh no, I've just shown you that. Oh, I shouldn't have shown you because it's on the whore video. Ah oh, well. Well, it's on the vlog. You don't don't not watch the vlog now. Because you've seen that. Because there's other stuff in the vlog that you need to watch. So make sure you watch that vlog. Anyway, I'll put this on. So Orpheus. Orpheus Music Box. Muzak. People, some people call it Muzak, don't they? Or Muzik. Muzak. 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 Who calls it Muzak? Some some uh, countries call it like Muzak, don't they? Muzak. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Huh? It might be, it might just be me. It might be no one calls it that. It's probably the fact that no one calls it that and I'm just making that up. Oh, no, I can't type this in. Oh, yeah. What is it? Orphus Music Box. Let's type that in. One came up at about twenty seven ninety nine. it sold for or something. Oh, I'm thinking it was the same one that sold. It looks like the same one. Yeah, it looks like the same one. Or first. Music box. God, it's getting hot now with that bloody light on. Sorry, I can't do this tomorrow for Thursday talks. Bloody hell, it's hot. 
And it's because this room's so stuffy as well. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Andrew, I'll definitely look into that, because that's, Wrexham in, in ain't that far, it's probably like, what, 40, 35, 40 minutes or something? It's not too bad. Uh, ever come across a KL or Karen Lev Lavelock on YouTube? No, don't think so. No, I don't think I have. I'm still getting used to my glasses anyway. So some uh, at this point, so sometimes my focus is going off when I'm reading these comments. <laughs> It's going to take me about blooming two, three weeks to get used to these glasses. Because they're a different prescription as well, so. Nah, they're well overpriced around here for resale. But can find some gems they look uh, looked up wrong. Mm. Uh, I have five charity shops that keep back certain items for me. Oh, that's decent. Yeah, I have, I have a couple, but I, I used to have loads. I used to have about, I probably used to have about four or five, but managers have changed. Like, the managers in them have changed, and I've just not got friendly with the new managers, basically. And I should get friendly with the new managers, but I've just, I'm just not. Um, right, let's have a look here. DIY music box. Oh, yeah, it looks like the same one. Going to type in Rancor, because it's Rancor or whatever it is. Rancor. Um, office music box. Uh, DIY uh, toy model kit. I think we'll put in there. Just, just pack in the keyword. Toy model kit. Pack them in. Pack them in. Toy model kit. Um, brand new sealed. Pack them in. Brand new and sealed isn't really a keyword, but pack them in. Uh, oh crap! What is it? Model? Oh, oh crap! Let's put it a model kit. It's a model kit, basically. It's a model kit, man. It's a model kit. See, three listings in an hour. Bet no one can do that amount. Bet no one. Bet everyone, everyone will be trying to do that amount. Everyone be trying to do that amount. And no one, no one's getting there. No one's beating me for number of listings in an hour. Three goddamn listings in an hour. This is the stuff of legends. Well, damn, I've not got a store category for what this is. Oh, I'm going to put it in toys. That's good enough. That's good. It's a toy. It's basically a toy. Yeah, it's all right. Condition is new, dispatched with... Oh, I like this when we put on the app. Condition is new, dispatched with Royal Mail Second Class. Basically means that I don't have to hardly type anything with the condition, which is brilliant. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, great, they do my work for me. I wish... I was so hoping eBay would do something like that. Oh, it's bloody brilliant <laughs> Uh, what are we going to go on this? Let's go twenty seven ninety nine. Oh, no, I, wasn't, I didn't put that other one on my little sheet thing. Yeah. Uh, back here. Good till cancelled. Yeah, well, it has to be, don't it? It has to be good till cancelled. There's nothing else it can be anymore. No. No, it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. Why? <laughs> Got to go. Catch you on Thursday. Yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow, uh, Gary. Um, do, do, do thanks for explaining that. I do understand what you mean. A small car, uh, sized van would be better for you if you. Uh, yeah, definitely. I'd love a little small car van size thing. Car van, car van size thing. What is going on? Hey, we're we're getting up the ranks now. Look at this. We got like twenty odd watching. Jesus. If anyone wants uh, me to research anything, I will do before I go. I've nearly finished this listing now because I'm speed listing. It's actually not taking me an hour to do free listings because I'm not actually sunk an hour into the free listings. When I've done the listings, I've done them and then come back to this. So really, I've not spent an hour on free listings. But if you look at it like that, uh, yeah, 349, that'll do me. Well, I'm male second class lad. 2799. That'll do. 
Orpheus music box, yeah, that'll do. And then what I'm going to do, just to prove to you guys that I've actually done a listing for once. Um, oh, no, wait. One sec. Got to do this. Got to do this. Actually, I, need to put the, I should put the brand in the item specifics. Like, I, mean, I shouldn't be that lazy. There we go. That, that, right, there we go. We're done. Put the brand in the item specifics there. Just because, you know, what the hell. Someone might search for it. Might come up. Right, just so that then you prove to you guys I actually done a listing. Because for all you know, oh my god, what's happened now? Fix any issues. God damn it. Go away. I don't want to fix me issues. Oh, that sounds so bad. I don't want to fix me issues. It sounds like it's some sort of psychological problem. Um, eBay, eBay's telling me I've got psychological problems, everyone. Oh god, no. Anyway, list with displayed fees. Come on, go round, get that circle going round, that's it. Blowing beautiful, right. See this here, look at that. Oh, it's because that's green, the green screen's not picking it up very well. Congratulations, your item is listed for sale. Boomage, done. Well, that's me done for the day, lads, for your listings on. Done. The life of a resell reseller, eh? Bomb ass, that's it. We're done. Anyway, if you've got any questions in the chat, drop them in quickly before I go. Um, I will look up the chat now. -doo 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 -doo. No BCP, check out the comments on my Q&A. Christos, and you'll get to see why I'm keen to figure out who she really is. Who? Who really who is? Who really who is? Who is that really? I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Who's that girl? That's what I'm saying. Who's the she that you're referring to? Uh, do, do, do. God, it's got it hot underneath this light now. Ah, oh, Chelsea's in. Hi there, Alan. Um, do, do, do. Who else is? Uh, who else have we got? I obviously made a good impression when I met them. Oh, I don't know what's going on. People are chatting in the chat, and I don't know what they're chatting about. <laughs> trying to work it out, and I can't even see. Anyway, Alan, we are just well. I was listing, and I managed to do. The incredible amount of listings in an hour. No one's going to top this. I managed to do three listings in an hour. I don't think anyone's ever beat that on the planet. I mean, I'm going insane. I'm going parabolic with the amount of listings I've just done. Um, so I managed to do three listings in an hour. It's insane. Uh, oh, the pin box is in. It's Donna, right? Donna, I think it's Donna. I'm sorry if I get that wrong. But I, I literally have so many people in the chat. I've got an excuse. But there's so many names that I have to remember. Um, anyway, I think that's right. So, uh, yeah, if we, I don't think there's any more questions or anything. Anyone want me to search anything on eBay? Randomly search some stuff? One sec, let me push this back up, up a bit. Let's have a check where we are. Yeah, we'll go, oh, oh, actually, I'm a bit down now. What's going on? What's going on a bit down. Oh, also, for those of you who have joined... Previous to the start, yes, I have got new glasses. They're cool. They're tortoise shell ones, tortoise shell ones. Yeah. And the more I look at them, the more I like myself in them, and the more egotistical I get about them, about wearing these glasses. So I really shouldn't be looking at myself on a screen because that's just going to make it even worse. Um, anyway, so anyone want me to search something? Brass candlesticks, if you want to know how many uh, candle what what candlesticks go for don't know why i just thought of that but i thought oh yeah let's see what these go for research ebay research with ads this is good this is going to be a new series you know actually put it in the chat if you want a new series eBay, it should be reselling rebels research or something i should just brand everything reselling rebels from now on everything's reselling rebels because i just i love the i love the kind of thing with it whoa they've gone for a lot on me Style of RR Jarvi, thirty four ninety nine, little ones there five quid. He could have got about a tenner for them. He could have got I I I've got a tenner for. Literally, I had two pairs of small. Oh no, wait, are they one inch? Oh no, he couldn't have done. No, they're one inch. Yeah, I thought they were the four inch ones. So no, he probably got about right there then for them ones. Let's check. Let's have a check. 
I don't know if you put if you put if you not even put any measurements on. Oh god. Not even put measurements on. Terrible. Terrible. Um no, but they have a one inch one, so he actually couldn't have got more than that really. Thinking maybe he could have done, but if it were like the four inch ones he could have done. Pair of candlesticks, nine eighty five, nine eighty five, nine eighty five. Tenor, mainly a tenor, isn't it? No, oh, ten to fifteen. I've got fi that's why I've got fifteen for a pair of candlesticks before. Two pairs there. God, that's quite. That's not much money there. Yeah. Two pairs of them for fifteen quid. Hmm. Cool, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I want to. Uh, uh, remember them Russell spinners. Yo yo. I wanna see what they're doing now. I've not looked at them for like a year. Whoa! No way, that's gone for forty five quid. I had one of them. I sold it for like twenty five quid. That's gone for forty five I mean obviously an offer's been taken, but that offer I mean, yeah, maybe that offer was twenty five quid, but probably the offer's gonna be around thirty, thirty five, innit? Something like that. Maybe even forty. Wow, bloody hell. You never know, it could have actually just gone for twenty five, but still. Sprite one there, 23 on bids, 40 for two of them there. Ah, 20 for that one. 19, that's probably around more and more, right? There's the gold one. Gold one's cool. I've never had a gold one. 30 quid for them. I've not looked at these in quite a while, actually. Ooh, 39.99 for the gold one, that's cool. <whistles> Sexy stuff. Sexy stuff. Russell Spinners, eh? Anyway, I'll do in the chat. If you want me to do a research thing, then I'll do the research thing at some point. Uh, let me go up the chat. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, we're okay. Not many, no one else has said anything. Oh, BCP is in. Hi there, BCP. I obviously made a good impression. I already read that out. Well... No one else is in the chat, so I'll get going, I suppose. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining me. You all, like, think we had about 25 at peak or something, didn't we? 23? Is that the peak? Is that the peak? Yeah, that's about the peak. 23, 24 at peak or something. Um, oh, God, wait. Loads of people are jumping in now. What's happened here? One sec. Um, that's three more than me. It's too hot. Oh, it must have just... Um, yeah, I, I must be behind on the chat or something. It just jumped then, didn't it? Um... Hi, Ad. El Tigre. El Tigre. Oh, I can say that. Wait, wait. El Tigre. El Tigre. Yeah, some, something like that. Hi, Ad. I rarely... I have a rare Game Boy Kid... Uh, ge game Boy game, Kid Dracula, that I'm looking to sell. What's the best way to list and then mail out such an expensive item? Let's have a look. Bloody hell, I should get paid for this. Look at all this work I have to do. I have to copy and paste. Look at that. Look at all that work. Game Boy. Right, there we go. Kid Dracula. Eh. Oh, wait. Kid. No, that's Buku Dracula. Kid, oh, there we go. Kid, yeah, I was going to say 24. That's not completely, like, really, really rare, is it? 79.99 with its manual. 25. Six, 700 pounds. So, do you have the car only or do you have the box and everything with it because basically if you have the box and everything with it i'm sure you'll be aware it's like that price but i mean i guess it's that it's that price because that's what sold what it sold for but i'm sure there's all variances of these things as well why do you have to always click C? oh no we don't have to click c oh yeah we do have to click c oh see original listing there um basically the best way to list it is basically how this guy's done it here. Get your get your title packed out with these keywords here, loads of keywords. Get all your characters filled out. Do a nice little bit of description in the condition note because it's such an expensive game. Get a good few photos on it. This guy's got all the corners of the box all sorted, and you know he's done proper good photos here. I mean, they're not really, really good photos in terms of lighting. He could have done a better lighting setup, but to be honest, they're pretty decent photos for what they are. Um, I say the I say the lighting's terrible. It's not terrible, is it? The lighting, but you know what I mean. It's not like that nice diffused light that you can get. 
uh, that I've got on my photo area as well. Um, but yeah, he's done plenty of photos here. Get all your photos, all the different corners, everything. And then do a nice little description. And there, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, you, you, you're sorted, basically. If it's your cart only, then I'm guessing it's a 79.99 because I think these are different. This is Buku Dracula. This is Kid Dracula here. That's only gone for 25 That was auction. I don't know why that one's gone for so much more. Uh, there, mu there must be a difference there. I think, I think there must be a difference. There's possibly a difference. I'm not sure. Maybe there is. Maybe there is. I've not sold gaming stuff in so long. So I'm no, by no means an expert or anything. Like but there you go. You've got the bloody booklet there gone for 26 So why is that one only gone for 25 Unless it's just an oddity. Maybe not many people were searching for it on that date. I'm not sure. But yeah, just do that. Just do that, you know. Um, uh, and then mail it out. Right. If you're mailing it out, if you've got um, if you if you got it in the box, bubble wrap the box like the cardboard box, put it in a box, make sure it's padded all in, and then I'd even double box it, especially if it's a bloody seven hundred pound game. Double box it, get like double walled cardboard box, get like a single walled cardboard box for the inner box, double walled cardboard box for the outer box, tuck in all void fill between the two boxes, fold it all in nice and tight beautiful sorted if it's car only i wouldn't for that because it's quite an expensive one i wouldn't bloody jiffy bag it i'd still box it even if it's car only but i wouldn't double box it if it's car only i'd just put it in a little box kind of thing but i wouldn't jiffy bag it if it's like a 70 you know like let's say you're getting 80 quid for it don't jiffy bag it because i mean some people might tell you to jiffy bag it even if it's car only but i wouldn't i'd take that extra five minutes just to box it because you know, it's quite an expensive game, so just do that. But yeah, uh, what you could do with is, well, actually, no, big bubble would probably be a hindrance. I get, yeah, get just get the small bubble, bubble, bubble wrap it round a few times. If if you've got the box, this is if you got the box, do a few times round with the small bubble, then whack it in the box nicely, more bubble on top and everything. And just really pack it in nicely, and it's not gonna, you know, that's gonna be bad. You may as well go overkill on on packaging. If you're selling for something for seven hundred quid or Whatever you can get for it, I don't know, but whatever you get for it, you, you know, it's going to be a lot of money. So, whatever you get for it, if you're selling something for that amount, don't worry about going overkill on packaging. Because an extra, t you know, pound or whatever, or 50p on packaging, isn't going to break the bank, is it? So, just just don't, just do that, basically. That's what I do. Um, anyway, Royal Mail, yeah. And also, as uh, Money Mental there says, you know, do your... Uh, you know, do your special delivery, get it signed for, get it tracked, get it all, all, all that sort of stuff, and uh, and you'll be golden there. So just all the, all the positive things you can do towards it, do it. Photos, keywords, special deliveries or track deliveries, insured deliveries, whatever. Double box the sucker if need be. Do everything you bloody can to get that thing there in the, in safe hands and also to present it to your customers in the best way. That's basically it. Double bubble. Double bubble. Yeah. How do you mean double bubble? You mean, do, well, you could you could, bubble, you could bubble wrap it round or I would advise bubble wrapping it round the box a few times. Not uh, not the outer box. I mean, the, like the, the actual cart box and then put it into a small box. I suppose you could bubble wrap that other box, but I don't think it's really necessary as long as you've packed it in quite nicely. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll leave it there, I think, guys. Uh, we, are, we, have, we have peaked today. We have peaked with viewers and stuff, so I will leave it there. Um... I've just spotted some Massimo Dutti loafers. Oh, I, I'm i not good with uh, shoes, so I couldn't tell you about them. But if you want to go for shoes, if anyone else wants to go for shoes, be my guest. Because I'm not picking them up in the charity shop, so it doesn't bother me. And everyone else can can have that market. YouTube are paying you 50p an hour. For, yeah, 50p an hour. 50 I know, literally, you're joking about that. But that's what I get. Thursday Talks. I get like 80, it always lands around 80 cent to a dollar for an hour, right, like an hour, 80 cent to a dollar, so yeah, come on, I'm, I'm, I'm worth more than that, my talent is worth more than that, but anyway, well, I'm going to go now, so I'll see you very soon guys, thank you very much for joining me, I will be back as normal tomorrow at one o'clock, and uh, yeah, 
I will see you tomorrow, and then there'll be other videos out coming in the future. I've got videos to edit and all that. I've got to get on and do some listing now, some actual listing, and uh, yeah, enjoy the weather. Don't moan too much about it, as I was saying earlier on. Try and just enjoy it and get, get with it a bit more, even though it is ridiculously hot. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the next one. So, see you very soon, guys.